Howdy friends, it's Kathy from Rust Paper Scissors. Uh, I wanted to do a flip through today of my December um, junk journal, but I wanted to show that this is um, what I'm calling the sticky backed velvet collection for Christmas. And it's, uh, I'll have a journal, I'll have two of the um, file folder journals, and then I have a whole collection of the uh, small mini journals, I call them Hojo's and our holiday journal inserts. You can add them to a uh, existing journal. It could be a standalone journal or you can um, just stick them in your purse and uh, take them with you to the store to write notes on, whatever, however you want to use them, but we'll go over those later. But really what we're going to do today is go through Frosty and um, talk about him and he will be in my shop. Just a moment. Okay, this is Frosty, who I'm calling Frosty. It is a um, repurposed book that I covered with the sticky back velvet. Uh, I made a tassel and I'm going to, I think, hopefully today, add a um, video on how I made these tassels. If you know me, you know rust is, is everything. And so I made a tassel where I use a rusted bolt as, uh, I'm not sure what that's called, but where you normally wrap the twine, I added a bolt, and then I added uh, the rusted uh, star and uh, silver bells here, if you can see them, and it's just kind of chunky. It is on a bulldog clip, which you can remove, and I'll remove it so it won't be in our way. I, I wanted to talk about the front, is again, I used the corrugated uh, paper. I used, um, some uh, ribbon twist paper and then a digital for uh, the front. And so um, I added the jingle bells on the side. Um, I, my signature closure is the bulldog clip with the chain. To me, it's so easy just to take that off and to move it to the back and then it's out of your way and you're easily to get into your journal. So let's go inside. Again, I'm calling this one Frosty, and it's got a little nameplate that says Christmas on there. And then on the inside, it's uh, just covered with the sticky backed velvet. I added a um, uh, plate or library card holder and a library card for you to document your, you know, your book and your name. Uh, I like to use, for my signature pages, I like to use the corrugated cardboard paper. And then uh, I added just some sticky backed velvet. I added this uh, ribbon twist paper. I love the ribbon twist paper because it adds a lot of texture. And then just a digital Santa there on the front. This is a, um, oh, a, um, ribbon crimp that I rust and then I just added the little jingle bell and I added the rhinestones. This is a quick and easy way to add the junk journal, the jewelry to your journals is using the ribbon crimps. So I really like that uh, idea. And then um, I didn't mention that this is uh, basically a naked journal. It's just for you to um, write, uh, you know, to journal on or to make your own. So I didn't Put a lot of ephemera in the journal. I wanted, you know, it to be a blank slate for you to make it your own. So um, let's go inside. Um, this is a um, granny square triangle that I made, and I use it as a tuck spot. I added these two little tags, just a little. Uh, it's Christmas or Merry Christmas, a little digital, and then on the holidays, I love to use the. Um, guest checks uh, because they're, they're green and red and I tea dyed this one and then um, I added a little sticker from Hobby Lobby. All the pages in are, are in here are, uh, I say tea dyed, they're dyed with the walnut stain so they're more of a neutral, a pH neutral. It shouldn't uh, affect your photographs. But uh, again, it's going to be very blank and I'll go quickly. This is just some writing paper. This is uh, a page from a Greg shorthand book that my mother had. It's probably from the 1940s. Uh, this is just some um, math paper, a math page from a book that I had, a workbook. 
This is a little um, metal rim tag that I uh, stamped on. And then I added, just to show that that's a little tuck spot, I added a North Pole uh, Express delivery, little digital. And then I think sometimes during the, the holidays, we all have a moment where we might forget that, you know, Christmas is more than something that comes from a store. So I like to include uh, a little Grinch as a reminder that, you know, Christmas means a little bit more. And then uh, this is just some graft paper that uh, I stained. And then this is a little tag. It says, Tis the Season. These tags are uh, vintage tags that I got in a thrift store. And then just some paper. Here's another uh, digital. Uh, it just says, uh, Making a List. And then I added the rusted uh, duck uh, hair clip. I sell those in my shop. And this is just some uh, ledger paper from the early uh, 1900s. And then that's the back. And then I added some uh, map paper. I thought it would be cute if uh, you wanted to chart uh, Santa's course. Maybe you wanted to write your address or, um, you know, maybe a, a, a picture of a sleigh, Santa in a sleigh. But I thought that was kind of cute to, to include. And then just some uh, paper. And then this is some dictionary paper. I added some of the uh, velvet ribbon to strengthen the edge. This is just a little tag that I made. It says, love and joy come to you. Again, a little tuck spot. And then this is um, the ledger paper. And uh, again, I like to use the ledger paper because this is, again, green and red. For the holidays, it's just perfect. And then again, I strengthen the edge with a little uh, of the ribbon. Uh, the center of my signature, I normally put an envelope. And uh, this one is just a receipt that I printed onto tracing paper. And then I have a Create a Sticker machine. And I just ran it through there to get the adhesive on the back. And it's a quick and easy way to uh, adhere the tracing paper so you, you really don't see the uh, adhesive. So I thought that was a good tip. And then it's blank on the inside, just a place for you to, you know, add, add your memorabilia. And then this is just uh, some uh, lace that I put on there. This is the back of that ledger paper. This is the pullout. Again, it's the uh, ribbon with a little digital and some um, ribbon twist paper. This is a dictionary page. Again, I added some lace. This is the happiest season of all. And then this is just some writing paper. And I added a little uh, metal rim tag that says the details. Again, some more of the uh, map paper. Here's a little Santa. And then this is that ledger paper, my writing paper, graph paper. This is just the math page. This is a little tag that I made with a Santa on there. I like that on there because it kind of sticks out over the top. And um, then, uh, you know, these just fold out and uh, just are blank pages. And then another signature item that I normally put in all my journals is a um, rusted metal prong fastener. And I add just some uh, blank pages for you to either journal on or add pictures to. Again, this is the ribbon crimp, crimp that adds the uh, little jingle bell. I sell these in my shop. Uh, and it's just a quick and easy way. I'll, I think I'll demonstrate that in one of the videos, how to use those ribbon crimps. It's real easy, but you can add your uh, jewelry on there very quickly. This is the second signature. Oh, uh, this is, I made a um, an, another little bookmark out of a uh, velvet ribbon with the little jingle bells on it. So I just put that in the center there kind of keep it out of the way. And then this is, again, the second signature. It just says Christmas Joy. And um, then this, oh, this was the little um, bookmark that I made from a, this is a Hobby Lobby sticker, and I just added it to a um, popsicle or tongue depressor stick. Uh, this is, again, a um, granny square triangle that I crocheted. I added another little Frosty the Snowman, just a place for you to journal. And then this is, again, the uh, guest check. I added a sticker from Hobby Lobby. I think these were so cute. They had all these car and uh, trailer stickers for the holidays. I thought that was really cute. 
So I added that. And then look at the, the pages in the second signature are just like, you know, it mirrors the first. This, I do that in case if you wanted to make this a journal for two Christmases, the pages would be the same. And you could compare the two. But I add a little ampersand. Uh, again, our shorthand paper, our um, math paper. This is a little tag that I made, a little Christmas tree, a Merry Christmas. On the back it says, to and from. Does anybody struggle with this? I find that I put so much ephemera in the first signature, and then the second signature doesn't have quite as much. So I wonder if anybody else struggles with that. Uh, and then this is just another little digital, a little order form. I included that there. And then here's our blank pages, our map paper, our blank pages, some dictionary paper. Again, our um, ledger paper. And this is just a pullout. I wanted to talk about this. Uh, I call this modified fussy cutting. <laughs> I, I'm not a fussy cutter. I don't think I have the right scissors or the patience to really fussy cut. So I'll just go around that sometimes an uh, object and kind of what I call modified fussy cutting. And then this is the center. Again, it's a um, order form that I printed. Inside is a little, um, again, a little Hojo holiday journal insert. And again, you could, you could um, you know, write about your Christmas, your decorations, your traditions, the top 10, who came, who were the guests this year, what'd they bring, what was the weather? So uh, I included that in there. And then uh, this is the other side of that. Whoops, I didn't get it in there good, okay. Uh, a little digital printout, a little pullout, and then our paper. Um, our paper, here's another little digital. And then this was a little, um, just a little grouping of scraps that I added a ribbon uh, a crimp too, and then I added some string, just made a little uh, place for you to journal. And then um, the rest is just blank pages. And then again, the back is a um, little prong fastener, which is some blank pages. I added this, this little alligator clip with a little North Pole, and I put it up on the corner like that so you could see it from the outside. And then the back is just plain. Oh, uh, the, the back here is again a little um, tuck spot. And then I added a vintage uh, Santa Claus. I love him. I think he's, he's just wonderful. And so I'll put that in there. And then one of our traditions is every uh, Christmas Eve, which is George Bailey's critical day, um, we watch It's a Wonderful Life. And so I, I found this... Um, picture and then I added a little jingle bell to it so the, the famous quote is every time a bell rings an angel gets his wings so I just included that because that was that was special to me and uh, that is the journal oh I did add I didn't mention this I did add uh, 10 metal rim tags that are numbered 1 to 10 in case you wanted to do a top 10 and put those on your pages Again, you could use that in another journal, something else. All this, a lot of this stuff that is uh, loose, you could put into another journal. But uh, that's Frosty, and uh, he will be for sale in my Etsy shop. And then uh, I wanted to say I'm going to um, link the um, tutorial I did where uh, we covered the book with the sticky-backed velvet. And so I wanted to show that. I will do a flip through. I will also link, I did a um, tutorial on how to make uh, the file folders out of the sticky backed velvet. And then I'm gonna go through this one um, and finish putting the final touches on it. And I'll do a flip through of that one. This is another one that I did. Again, it's the file folder. This is the little um, smaller um, tassel that I made. Again, it's with the uh, rusted bolt and some rusted jingle bells and some, you know, fibers. So we'll do that one. And then again, just quickly, this is my little uh, Hojo collection this year. That's the only kind of vintage one I have. The rest are more retro uh, looking. 
but uh, we'll go through there. And they're, they're basically just blank, but I'm going to add, I will add some things to them. This is a little kind of a vintage Christmas. This is just a little frosty. And then these two were um, made with um, stickers from Hobby Lobby that I used on the uh, popsicle sticks. So that's my collection. Um, I will have uh, these things listed in my Etsy shop. And uh, I want to thank you for your time. I would appreciate it if you would um, leave me a comment. If you liked the video, if you'd hit the like button, I would appreciate that. I'd love it if you were uh, subscribed to my channel. I'm trying to grow my channel and um, just uh, appreciate your time and hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.